racing away here. And the cross is very much on. Well, the danger is still there. And this situation could be dangerous. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. Now, what can the Rebels do from this position? It should be! Touched on to the woodwork. Can he finish? Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. Moussa Diaby, well, the defending not the best here. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Just hearing a goal has gone in in the Monaco game. Alex Scott can tell us more. Yeah, it's a goal for Monaco. It's now 1-0 with under five minutes left to play till half-time. Alex keeping us right up to date. Crossing into the middle. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. That is how to apply the pressure. A really intense pressure applied. Gives it a go. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Well, Manchester City had long ago identified their target, and now they've got their man, Stuart. Well, he's certainly got ability. A lot of clubs have been in for him. He's got to score! Determined defending. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Chance to finish. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. A really sumptuous ball. Still could be dangerous. But no, that's the end of the move because offside is the verdict. Now the Rebels with the ball once more. More live football to come. A little note about a future game with us here on EA TV. And what a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. Well played in from the flag, but not to any great effect. And a goal update for you in the Monaco game. Let's find out who has scored it. Here's Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Monaco. It was... And that was never likely to trouble the keeper. And the keeper dicing with danger. Oh, a good diving save. And they will make the change now. Who can they pick out? Oh, a really good header. And so into the final five minutes. Ryan Grafenberg. 
Will he finish? And in it goes. They're getting closer. They're not finished yet. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. What's going to happen next? And we are going to have two additional minutes. Useful looking ball. Big opportunity. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway at 3-1. So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, that's a good win and a vital three points. Another win next time out, and they'll be in a great position. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, I thought his all-round game was excellent. It was his ability to find space that impressed me most, and with a bit more luck, he could have had a second one today.